I'm here for an impromptu brew day, so I've just set uh, the temperature raising on that to 66. I'm not sure what my volume should be, so I've gone for 40. I can add more if I need to, if it's a bit runny, so be it. Um, so yeah, we're getting a malt pipe in there. Sparge tank, got easily enough, nearly 30 litres. So we'll get this, uh, yeah, we'll get this heating whilst we're waiting for that. Uh, we're on auto at the minute, so once we get to kind of 60, yeah, maybe 62 or 3 degrees, you know, we'll switch the heat control to mash mode and get mashed in. Just throwing in a few odds and ends that we've got left over. I'm getting mashed in now and uh, yeah, with some rice holes, get it all in there, give it a good stir, and away we go. Okay, lots of the grains going in, a bit of special B. Um, looking at the consistency of the mash, I'd say that 40 uh, litres was pretty much on the mark. So, hopefully you can see this. It's a very kind of nice, relatively thick, but uh, just a good consistency all round. So, we've, like I said, we've got some rice holes in there. Hopefully no stuck mash. And, uh, yeah. We'll get it recirculating around the malt pipe and then uh, over the grain bed. There we are, recirculating. Time to mash out, I'm going to head on up to um, 77. Be out for 10 15 minutes. Coming up to the boil, it's nearly party time. Is on the water flowing to cool the condenser. The condenser oh. is in action. Look at that. What a great setup. What a great idea. Oh, absolutely perfect for my setup. Um, so, anyway, we're down to kind of 45% power, which with the steam height is more than enough. Ended up with 53 litres, so we should boil off um, yeah, a good kind of five or six litres or so. Uh, based on kind of previous, so let's see how we get on. We reached the end of the boil. Uh, we did the 15 minute hop addition with the proto flock, uh, but now the steam hat is off. Um, I'm whirlpooling uh, with the flame out addition, and uh, yeah, we'll give it a few more minutes. And then we're gonna get uh, yeah, the cold water pumping through your kind of floor chiller, which is tucked away under there. I'm um, gonna aim for. Uh, 22 degrees Celsius on the return temperature. I'm going to get those, in, get that into uh, two fermenters and uh, do a split batch. One with SO4, uh, US04, one with USO5. No, SO4, one with USO5. Hello all. So here I am, fresh off the back of a, a brew day. Um, I've just done an American wheat beer today, and I've worked up quite a thirst. Uh, so I'm actually going to be trying my mystery beer, um, which, yeah, th this is basically the grain to glass. It was a bit of a use-all um, kind of recipe, so <laughs> uh, I don't know what's kind of, what kind of style this is, so if anyone actually does know, then, then please do let me know. Um, it's got a bit of everything in it. Let me read it to you, because quite long I can't bother putting it in the description, so I'll just read it out. Um, so this is for a 23 litre batch, or that was the aim at least anyway. Um, I think I got about 20. Um, so one and a half kilograms of lager malt. Don't laugh. <laughs> one and a half kilograms of wheat malt. One and a half kilograms of pilsner. Um, 0 0.15 kilograms of uh, carapils. 0 0.29 kilograms of Munich. 0 0.5 kilograms of pale. 
um, and 0.18 kilograms or obviously 180 grams of special B um, for the hops so I went 45 grams of Northern Brewer at the start of the boil uh, 35 grams of Tetanang uh, 15 minutes before the end um, and 20 grams of East Kent Golding at Flame Out uh, usual proto flock uh, in there as well at 15 minutes and fermented it with safe ale um, SO4 so yeah <laughs> I have no idea what that is um, I kind of I, I'm not gonna say I knew what I was doing when I, when I kind of came up with this recipe um, but I looked at several kind of recipes and took like the best bits of each and yeah I mean I just kind of ended up throwing um, what I just needed to get rid of into the pot really um, so there we go so let's just top this up and give it a whirl uh, I don't know if you can see that it's a bit it's a bit dark in here, I do apologise. Um, I probably need to get some better lighting. Um, but very, very clear. Uh, it's got a nice creamy head on top. Um, obviously mostly kind of pale malts in there, but the uh, the special bees give it a nice kind of uh, brown, kind of coppery colour. Almost like a kind of best bitter, I suppose. Um, nah. <laughs> for the most important bit, do do I have two kegfuls of shit? Well, there's only one way to find out, right? You know what? It's not. It's not. Not half bad. That that is. That is pretty good, actually. I said it was like, it looked like bitter. It actually tastes a bit like a, an ESB. So an extra special bitter. Um, it's got a good body to it. It actually came out at around six percent. This as well. Um, so I mean, the, the the body's probably coming from. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe the carapils, possibly. Um, nice kind of cream ahead, probably from the wheat. Um, a little bit of bitterness in the back of the throat. I think it was like around thirty six IBUs. Um, it's not the bitterest beer ever, but you know it's. It's not. It's noticeable, but um, I think because you've got the the alcohol content, it's it's actually quite balanced. It, it kind of balances out a bit. Hmm. Definitely got the kind of roasty the roasty malt flavors. Uh, so even though there wasn't much special B in there. Um, Obviously, it's you know it's made a, obviously an impact on the colour that goes without saying, um, but I think it's kind of you know balanced out, you know obviously from all the kind of pale malts a little bit, if that makes sense. Probably not. Um, you know what? It's a little bit. It's a little bit like the traditional bock that I did, uh, not too long back. Not as sweet though. Not as sweet. Yeah, considering it was a bit of a mishmash of everything, which I know I do quite a lot, <laughs> um, I really do. I, I really did just want to kind of get rid of like all the loose grains and loose hops and stuff. I'm I'm I'm, I'm done with that now. Um, I'm just kind of going to buy what I need, um, and I think you can do that with a malt mill. So that, that's that's kind of it from now on. So I've, I've had hops and stuff in the freezer for like six years. <laughs> I just never get around to reusing them. Um, but uh, yeah, that 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 is good. That is good. If you if you want to replicate it, feel free and let me know what you think. Um, 
But I like I like that. I like that a lot. Says you definitely got the kind of bitterness, the back of the throat, but it's not unpleasant at all. It's um, it's well rounded. Um, if you know more about beer than I do, and very much doubt that it's well rounded <laughs> based on that recipe, then uh, yeah, feel free to chip in. But um, I like that. That's good. So anyway, there we go. I'm going to wrap it up now. I've already been talking for about six or seven minutes. So thank you for watching. Much appreciated as always. If you like the content please do give me a like, share, subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, then please do consider giving me a subscribe uh, or subscription. 90% uh, of my views aren't subscribed, and that's sad. But anyway, take care of yourselves. See you guys soon. Take care.